Okay, we're going to start recording now. I'd like to show you how you can work with the command line on Memer. So first of all, we have to go to class.memer.io, sign in. And then I'll just go ahead and save it here and do Microsoft Edge. I'm also trying out the new browser for Microsoft. All right, so let's go ahead now to the intro to C++ class. See, there is an assignment called Basic Math. Number of people have submitted it, gotten the perfect score. When you see the assignment, after you read through it and understand what you're doing, you can click on Open in Memer IDE. Now, once you're there, it's very important that you go to the CPP file that I've provided for you. So you should see in a folder something called basic math. Click on the basic math folder, all right? And then you click on assignment1.cpp. You'll see that Memer does have coloring of the variable types, data types, the uh, strings, will be given a certain color, right? Numbers will be given a certain color. Okay, now let's get to the actual running of this assignment. Usually when we're inside of Replit, we just click on run. Now what we need to do is we need to click on this link at the bottom of the homework that says how to use the terminal in the Memer IDE. So if you go to this page, it's very useful and it talks about why it's a good idea to learn the command line. We are going to the very bottom because we're using C++. All right, so these are the commands. So I'm gonna go ahead down here and copy this. And then I'm gonna go up here to the Memer IDE and I'm gonna say, all right, give me in standard C++14 a compilation of main.cpp. Okay, so I run it, and I see, wait, main.cpp, no such file or directory. Here's the thing. I call this assignment1.cpp. So if you were to press the up arrow, you can get that line of, of uh, from the command line, and now we can erase main.cpp and type out assignment1 cpp and see it compiles and now if we wanted to run it we could go back and look at the line beneath it okay so we can copy this and paste it here and see hello world 99 okay so there we go that's how we do it when we're ready to submit we just right click on the folder basic math say submit folder contents and then go down to the name of the assignment it's called basic math say view submission and memer is going to give you feedback based on what you did right so here we see we failed the first test case if you send in three and five you're supposed to get back 15 and 8. well three times five is 15 three plus five is eight but I'm getting back hello world and 99.9, .9. incorrect. So this would be the way that we work with the Memer IDE. It's not that difficult. You just have, a, have to have a few commands. If there's anything wrong with your code and you do have to save your code in the Memer IDE. So you can press control S or you can go up to file save. All right, either way we'll save this file. So if I was to just go ahead and run the compiler again, I can say assignment1.cpp and I get an error, all right? I didn't specify it had to be 14 there, but it will still compile. All right, so we go ahead and say GP, G++ assignment1.cpp compiles, then we can run a.out, we see hello world 99. All right, great.
So brief introduction to the MIMR IDE. 